lovely harmony. That's why it reminded me of that. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to CF Reacts. My name is Casper Fox. I've been a brand manager for six years, going on my seventh year. And today we are back with the finale of Haspen Hotels Season 1. Um, my Patreons have been going absolutely crazy about this because a lot of stuff happened. So what I thought would be really fun is that I'm going to make a couple of predictions before we start. Um, number one, I think that uh, uh, Vaggy is going to kill Loot. Like as a redemption arc, get a redemption arc. There's no way Adam dies in this. That would be crazy. Um, I sadly think we're going to say goodbye to one of our core members. I really hope it's not Angel Dust. If it is, I'm going to be really sad. Um, yeah, and then I think Alistor's plan is going to go exactly as he wants it. I think those are the three predictions I want to put out there. So, Loot's going to die at the hands of Vaggy. Vaggy and Vaggy. Vaggy. And, uh... We're going to see Alistair's plan flourish, and uh, we're going to lose one of the, the core members of the hotel. And I hope it's not Anthony. That'd be... I, I sadly think it might be Husk, if anyone. Husk or... Well, if, if the little girl dies, I must admit I'm not too attached to her. Husk is nice. I Anthony is just... Would be so tragic. But at least he gets out. I don't know. We'll see. Let's stop trying to predict shit. Okay. You've already done so much. So many lives you've changed So many souls you've touched Here we're back to the tonal cadence just like In the I'll be your armor the, the, That song there. Again, it's her. Maybe tonal cadence is a part of, of her songwriting process when it when they're writing songs for for, for uh, Stephanie Beatrice's character. Okay, I love these air bell marimbas we got going in the background as the carrying instrument. And again, we go up and down, dying to say. So they go say, go down again. Lovely harmony. More than anything. That's why it reminded me of that. More than anything. That's why I was recognizing the tonal cadence, because it's a reprise. Finally, exterminate <laughs> my heart. Oh, need you to know I love you more than anything. More than anything. I like how they visualize their vibrato on their voices as well. Oh, dude, it's been so, it's been eight episodes without these kissing. Like, that's a nice. I like that. That sounded so wrong. It's not what I meant. I meant like it's really nicely led up to. Beautiful. Exterminate. Mm. That was very, very short though. I, I really like that more than anything song. It's really cool. So nice reprise. Very well done. Not much to to talk about musically because it's the same song. So if you want to see my, my RNA for that one, go back to the episode where it's in. But I love this harmony. Erica is a soprano with the biggest. Dude, Stephanie Beatrice. So I heard about this theory, and I'm going to credit Morty has told me about this theory. That because she's an angel, um, she's actually covering her higher angelic voice and is putting on this like full-on Rosa Diaz deep voice stuff. But now when she's singing, it comes out because she's singing, you know, she it comes out of like it comes to a natural voice because she can't hide it when she's singing, which is why her voice goes up to this beautiful soprano voice. And when I say soprano with a big S, that's like Danish translated into English slang thing, uh, which basically means that she sings very high, um, as you can hear in the harmony here. So this is moderately high for, well, yeah. There's something that I've been dying to say. And beautiful harmony from the tonal cadence. More than anything. Still fine, and then the here. More than anything. Do, 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 do. You can see the, the vibrato is 
is is actually animated. That's really nice. Oh, I love this. Cute. Lovely. Fantastic song. He did it for us. The ultimate sacrifice. He gave me his trust. And look how we paid the price. This bloodshed could have been avoided if I convinced heaven to work together. I took a hotel and I destroyed it. I know I could have done better, better instead of letting you down. Come on, little lady, why the frown? In the last 10,000 years, you're the first one to change this time. Okay, I just want to point out, first of all, again, we're starting with piano, just like like 50% of these songs here. Um, I feel really bad for Sapentius, but I really just don't want to play this. I really want to do some analysis on this, so it's not just me watching. Um, <clears throat> so listen to how she says that, like, I know, I know I could have done better. It's actually sung in this like, na, 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 this like playful, spiteful melody. Listen to this. I convinced heaven to work Listen to this. Together. I took a hotel and I destroyed it. I know I could have done better. Na, 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 na. That's interesting that they chose this melody, like this, like what's usually being like when you're being spiteful or like, you know, like, bu not bullying, but you know, like, you know, when you were a kid and you're like, na, 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 you know, like right there. Better instead of letting you Come on, oh. little lady, why the f So bass comes in when Lucifer starts singing. Brown. In the last 10,000 years, you're the first one to change this town. You can do this, now I know it, for your story has just begun. You can't quit now, hell you owe it, there's still damage to be undone. You've changed my mind, you've touched their hearts, found the good and souls gone bad. Ooh, this found the good and souls gone bad. That's that's quite that's quite low. Nice one, Jeremy. They just wrecked. Right. Yes. The crowd is gone, but by God, Charlie, the show it must go on. We can do this. We can build it. And then we get kind of like a reprise back to a, a happy day in hell. Same instrumental, same activity level. Wonderful. The best hotel that you've ever seen. Watch the bedrooms. We can fill it with more sinners than you can dream. So we got two octaves here and then a harmony on top. It starts with you. You know it's true. Fulfill your destiny. Oh, he's he's holding the key, like the cat key thing from the intro. No time for crying, we got a lot of work to do, and we gotta try and make the best of what's in room. A new coat of paint, new lights across the marquee, with a little sorcery. After the battle, masterless cattle, overlords hanging by a thread. With a bit of bravado, maybe tomorrow we'll be atop the heap. Okay, that's interesting. So the V's might actually go with this. Okay, we're still seeing the same instruments. Uh, there's not really much of a change when we go between the characters, which is interesting. Well, the rest of hell's pissing. Alistair's missing. Fled with his tail between his legs. Nature abhors a power vacuum. It leaves room for you and me. The future of hell belongs to the V's. <laughs> <laughs> this place reeks of death. There's a chill in the air. And I barely escaped being killed by a hair. Great Alistair Altruist died for his friends. Sorry to disappoint, that is not where this ends. I'm hungry for freedom like freedom? never before. The constraints of my deal surely have a back door. Once I figure out how to unclip my wings, guess who will be pulling what? all the strings? 
Lesser Pensions. Okay, interesting. Um, that's just the, again, this one is one of the more story-driven songs, so that we get a roundup for everything. Freedom like never before. Listen to this sinister, kind of like like uh, like busted out piano in the back. The constraints of my deal surely have a back door. Once I figure out. Do getting a bit of brass in here. How to we're, we're working very orchestral here with Alice. My wings. Guess who will be pulling all the strings? <laughs> okay, so maybe he is unclip my wings. He wants to be a fallen angel. Is he an angel? Look at this. This reminds me of like um, uh, of like witchcraft. Like like these uh like these uh, totems and dolls that would make like these like uh, you know you know what I mean when I when I look at him like that. It's it's kind of kind of kind of wonky. <laughs> And Haspen Hotel is restored. Lots of fantastic elements here. So listen to when when they start with this whole reprising. So Alistair, they're happy he's back. Lucifer was not too happy about that. But so here, this like come together piece. We have the claps. So that is supposed to signify that everyone is here, right? Now look at this. Everyone's so scared here. And then look at Lucifer. We're doing it with a smile. So Lucifer is not happy he's back and Husk is also not happy, which makes sense. Lucifer is feeling that his father figure role is being stolen and Husk is obviously chained his soul to soul to Alastor, which is not great. We're gonna do this you and me, harmonize two voices, obviously perfect. And then listen to these, so, so especially here at the end, you're gonna hear this chord progression here. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna let you listen to it first. And then tomorrow it will be a fucking happy day in hell. Classic musical ending chord progression. Da, 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 da. Kind of swinging up to it, right? You can hear that. Now it's it's uh I think uh, what comes to mind is wicked uh I'm on my way where they slide up instead of down so here it's 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 down as you can hear And then of course a bam fantastic and I just want to see are Vox and Valentino making out What the f- And the eye. Cool. Uh, thank you so much for suggesting it to me. This has been a wonderful journey. Now, as I mentioned, I have plans both for the upcoming season two of this and Hell of a Boss, the spin-off of this. I cannot tell you what it is yet, but please stay patient. It is going to be awesome. I know you guys are going to be loving it. Um, I want to say thank you all so much for watching Haspen Hotel with me. It's been an absolute pleasure, both from Patreon and from YouTube and all the comments and everything in between. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm so excited uh, to have finished this. I'm also kind of sad because this was amazing, but now I can listen to the full soundtrack without any spoilers. Um, for me, it starts with Sorry and Poison are kind of up there. Like, it starts with Sorry, Poison, and Hell is Forever are my top three in no particular order. Just they are my top three. Um, I hope to be releasing a cover. By the time this is out, I might have recorded my cover of Hell is Forever because I really feel like that fits my voice. Um, but yeah, um, thank you to all these wonderful names over here who have just been helping me on supporting my dream of becoming a full-time content creator. It's, it's actually becoming a reality thanks to these names here, which I, I cannot thank you guys enough for liking and commenting and sharing and helping me, you know, embracing me with open arms, uh, for, uh, into this musical, uh, area we've gotten now great thing is that we are actually when this comes out i haven't seen an episode yet or an animatic yet but we will be starting heathers uh which is like well on the way by the time this goes out but we are now missing a upload spot for tuesday maybe by the time this goes out i've figured out what that's going to be but 
until then, you know, I hope you're either enjoying what I've been putting out because I'm, st I'm recording a month in advance. So, you know, uh, not too, not too great, but you know, it is what it is. Um, thank you all so much for the support and uh, let me know what else I should check out. Always open to suggestions. Obviously I do listen more to the Patreon suggestions. Uh, so if you want like, you know, a sure thing, maybe then go over there. I can't guarantee it, but yeah. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey for Haspen Hotel. And I guess for the final time for season one, at least until hell of a bus and season two comes out, can't tell you what I'll do with that, but it's going to be exciting. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and uh, yeah, take care.